Hey everyone, thank you for joining us yet again for another episode of Review Questions. We are going to look at math today. That's right, math. Are you ready for some math? Okay, great. Well, let's just start off with the first question. You know how this works. We give you the question, you have 10 seconds to answer, and then we'll give you the right answer and you'll see if you're correct. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Can you tell me the liquid equivalence? Liquid equivalence. Go! If you said eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, and four quarts equals one gallon, then you are correct! Yeah! Okay, are you guys ready for your second question? It goes like this. Can you skip count the squares? If you said 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, and 225. Then you are correct. You have skipped count the squares. Good job. Ah, what are the metric measurements? <laughs> Answer is 10 millimeters equals one centimeter, 100 centimeters equals one meter, and a thousand meters equals one kilometer. Ah. Hey there. All right, here's another question. Linear equivalence. What are the linear equivalents? Time's up! 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch, 12 inches equals 1 foot, 5,280 feet equals 1 mile, 1 kilometer equals 5 eighths of a mile. Good job if you got that one. Hello, here's a question. What is the area of a rectangle? If you said the area of a rectangle equals length times width, then you are right! Before we continue, I would just like to say thank you to all the people who drew pictures, including our friend Daisy in Fort Worth, Texas, who sent us this great picture. Look at that. She's got noun, English verb on there, math, science, geography. She's got all the subjects in her picture, and she drew it really well, including her home state of Texas. That's right, so thank you, Daisy, for your pictures. Thank you very, very much. And we saw that chicken on the back, too. Thank you, Daisy. All right, guys, we're going back to the questions. What is the area of a circle? Time's up! If you said the area of a circle equals pi times the radius squared. Oh, and don't forget that pi is 3.14. If you got all that, well then you're correct. Nice job! <laughs> That's right. Well, I want some pi. Hello, hello, hello. Here's the next question. What does the associative law for addition state? Go. Time's up! The associative law for addition states opening parenthesis A plus B, close parenthesis plus C, 
equals A plus opening parenthesis B plus C close parenthesis. There you go. Good job if you got that one. Oh, and for our next question, sounds a lot like it. The associative law for multiplication states. Go, this one's multiplication. Okay, time's up. The associative law for multiplication states opening parenthesis A times B close parenthesis times C equals A times opening parenthesis B times C close parenthesis. Shoo! That was quite a mouthful, but good job if you got that one too. Hey guys, it's me again. You could just settle in because this one's going to be an easy question. That's right. Try not to roll your eyes when I ask you, but I just want to know. Can you skip count the tens? <laughs> yep. Let's hear it. Come on. Humor me. Let's hear the tens. You don't want to mess up on an easy one, right? <laughs> Time's up. If you said 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, then you are correct. Thank you. Oh. Well, hi again. The distributive law. What does the distributive law state? Go. Time's up. If you said A, opening parenthesis B plus C, close parenthesis equals A, B plus A, C, then you are correct. Good job. That's a long one, right? You got it. You're so good at this. Okay, everybody. Well, that's all of our questions for today. But before we go, I have one more artist for you to appreciate. Let's see it. This is from Alita in upstate New York. She's five years old, and she drew us this really awesome picture. Isn't that terrific? Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Alita, for your artwork. Thank you to my guest today who asked you all those questions. I hope you got the right answers. If not, feel free to keep watching this video until you get them all right. And then they'll help you be a memory master. Yay! Come join us again for another episode of Review Questions. Yay!